pattern oh my god apologies for this i'm going to do oh my god i'm going to do my yoga and workout after this so that's hence why i'm in all this my hair's like this i've just finished work and I've got cat hair in my mouth. So today's video is about the three top books I recommend for 2021. What I've already read so far. Yes, we are in the uh, middle of January. I don't even know where we're at now. Um, but these are the three books that you must buy this year to improve your mindset, your life, just your outlook, and just to start achieving your goals. These will really help. <laughs> Welcome if you are new here, my name is Hetty and on this channel we discuss all things positive <laughs> I can't remember where's my accent go there <laughs> We discuss all things positive, hi vibe and how to use the law of attraction to manifest the life of your dreams If you haven't already then hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any more wonderful content like this Now let's get straight into today's video So this video is all about the top three books I recommend for 2021, how to improve your life, reach your goals, change your mindset, to give you that drive, that inspiration, that motivation. First and foremost, I think books are so important to expand in your awareness and your knowledge, learning more about yourself, about other people, about different things in the world. There is so much out there now on like the TV, Netflix, like, all these other, I don't even know, all these other things, social media, um, that give us insight into the world, but sometimes they don't give us that sort of like intellectual and like, it's a different kind of insight I think that you get from a book. Also from a book, I find like, I spend so much time these days on screens, computers, laptops, iPads, like you're constantly surrounded by screens and it can actually be a really nice break for you to take to just stick yourself into reading a book. It's also a great way to expand that focus and attention span you have. If you have a very short attention span, you find you can only read a few pages, make it your goal to maybe read a whole chapter every time you pick up a book, maybe do an hour every morning. So the first book I recommend is this lovely book here. This is Untamed by Glennon Doyle. Stop pleasing, start living all about that <laughs> this i was bought this um for my birthday last year so i only picked it up at the start of this year and it has honestly been incredible i literally did not put it down <laughs> after picking it up i didn't know what to expect it's got loads of lovely little short chapters in so again if you're bad at focusing it's great to um it's great to read because you feel like you've accomplished something every time you finish a chapter and you're not going through like 50 pages for one chapter <laughs> makes sense in my mind I just like that little accomplishment um it is all about how she went from being someone who felt like especially like a woman it can apply to men and women but a woman who felt like she was told and controlled with how she had to be in her life like how to behave as a woman how to behave as a wife how to behave as a mother how to behave as all these different things she was like a best-selling author even at the time like she was going through all this stuff in her marriage and all of this personal stuff in her life but she was still so focused on her career and then she kind of had this just like epiphany and was just like this is not where I want to be this is not who I am I've been living so long under the control of what I think others will want me to be she was looking so much outside of herself that validation and she was like asking other people what she should do in like really important life situations where you should only take your own inner gut feeling and guidance and it's all about finding that knowing we all have that knowing inside of us. In the book, she calls it the knowing, but you could call it your inner self, your higher self, God. You could call it your gut feeling, your heart, your intuition, whatever you wanna call it. She talks about that knowing, like that's what she shows you in the book, how she's still a normal person, still has normal everyday worries, but she now centers herself and focuses on that knowing and how to actually start living life for herself and make herself first and foremost happy. Even though she is in an amazing relationship, she's got wonderful children, she is committed to putting herself first and making sure that her happiness is first and foremost because if we aren't happy within ourselves then we can't make anyone else happy how can we expect anyone else to want to be happy around us so it is a really incredible 
book um i literally didn't put it down honestly i highly recommend if you haven't already and um, it's got some funny stories in there it's like a little bit funny and jokey as well so yeah definitely recommend that one now the second book i'm going to recommend is this lovely little book here called letting go by dr david hawkins oh my god another one <laughs> i was reading both of these alongside each other at the same time like i do that I'll, I'll be in the mood for like a different style of writing so um i was reading these both at the same time but oh my god this is incredible like you read it and you feel lighter already like <laughs> You just feel like amazing already. Now I did mention this in one of my recent videos um, all about how to actually let go and he shows you how important it is to let go of the lower vibrations and emotions and to let go of like attachment and desire to things because that's actually what holds them from us. He shows us how we can start reaching the higher vibrational levels of existence. So um, if you've seen the emotional guidance scale sort of the lower vibration emotions are like anger, fear, guilt, um, desire, and then you kind of go up to like courage, neutrality, like acceptance, um, joy, love, peace, enlightenment at the top. So he shows you how to stay and vibrate within those top higher level frequencies. He literally shows scientific evidence in the book. So um, it's, yeah, it's very like evidence based. And there's a lot of studies that he has himself from his own um, personal clients that come to him that he shares within the book. And he just shares his own experience. I think it is a brilliant book. I have not, <laughs> I literally did not put it down the whole time. Like literally have just been obsessed, you know, and you're just like reading a book and you're like cooking and you're like, I'll just put the book on the side, like dry my hair. I was like reading the book, like, absolutely loved it it will literally change your life when you start realizing that you have total control over your own emotions you can choose to let things go and let them be and live in peace and joy and love instead of choosing to focus on like anger and fear and that's just because we've we get payoffs from that we get payoffs of like other people feeling sorry for us or not having to make so much effort because we're like oh i'm not good enough and all this all this other stuff that you'll find out when you read the book highly recommend it has literally changed my mindset totally and since reading it i have felt nothing but a vibration of like love and peace and it's also it's all about allowing emotions to come up and letting them go as they go so it's not about like suppressing and um holding emotions down and not expressing those out or anything like that it's about feeling them and allowing them to come up naturally and the more we allow them to come up the more we al almost rid ourselves of all the emotional baggage we've carried over the years and we allow ourselves sort of start a clean slate so every time maybe a situation comes in that might make us feel angry or guilty or fearful it leaves us so much quicker instead of holding on to that for like weeks or months or however long it might be like an hour or it might be like a moment where you feel anger but you're over it already so what a way to live he has literally transformed his life like the way he writes you can just tell <laughs> you can just tell what kind of person he is and it's absolutely wonderful so highly highly recommend that now book. the third and final book i recommend is this this is the autobiography of a yogi by paramahansa yoganada i hope i said that correctly this is a giant version but i don't i think you can buy them smaller than this but i actually quite liked it just because you know just easy to read i don't know you can find a smaller version probably online um this book again one i couldn't put down so i started this at the end of last year in like um, december time and i finished it at the start of this year before i started reading these other two and wow this it's just an incredible book it's all about the life of a yogi so um it's it follows his life story so the chapters kind of follow like his life pattern obviously because that's what an autobiography does so from when he's like a child he talks about all his life experiences all these incredible things that happened from like day one so he was born and grew up in india and um, he actually then moved to the west into the usa and sort of started this whole like movement there and then he's moved back and forth um 
and his story starts it's in like it starts a long time long time ago so in like the 1900s like it's all that sort of time period so it's not a very recent story which i think is wonderful and um, he talks about the life of like his yogi masters and what they did and what they showed him so he started off um just as an average child <laughs> just as a child and he got into like spiritual practices and like yoga and um, he wanted to become like a yogi and follow his spiritual masters and devoted his whole life to like spiritual advancement and the spiritual advancement of everyone else. So when I say spiritual, again, a lot of people have negative connotations around that word of like ghosts and like all this other stuff and like this certain way that they see spiritual, but it's all basically about expanding your mind and your consciousness and how you are so powerful, like you have so much power within yourself to create whatever you want. And there is some almost unbelievable stories within the book. You can choose to believe them or not um, about like yogis who, like the yogi with two bodies who could be in one place and someone would see him in another place or like, read your mind or like just the feeling he got around these of these yogis was like nothing else like he had literally achieved life and had to, so much love like talks about people who don't feel like literally don't eat or drink anything and they just survive off like the spirit of like source or god or love or whatever it is so when you read it have an open mind if you choose to read this one at first i was a bit like it seems a little bit far-fetched but the more you read it you actually get a feel for him and how truthful he is in telling his story and just how when our mind is open to possibilities anything can happen so you don't have to have full belief in the stories that he tells that are like <laughs> what you would call as miracles but all of the other details and important lessons you learn on the way the important lessons he learns from his yogi master and um all these other incredible people is just so, so important to read. It literally expanded my mind and I just felt so much love reading it. There's literally points where I was like, so happy reading it. Like I've never fully felt that with a book. I was literally like, oh my God, like I feel like I'm there, like it's me. So it's an extremely beautiful book to read. Um, the, I will say that the language in it, cause it was written quite a while ago, <laughs> it's not like formal but written in a little bit of a different way so bear with it get through it like you will absolutely love it honestly but yeah i hope you have enjoyed this video they are my top three books that i would recommend to read in 2021 if you want to expand your mind your consciousness if you want to get ahead in business if you want to get ahead in relationships life even though these don't have specific subjects on like this book's about how to improve your relationships and this book's about how to be successful with money. All the concepts of these apply across all, which I think is important because how you do one thing in life is how you do everything. So it's important to have that overall arching, you know, aspect. You might think that one area of your life is incredible. And when you read this, you're like, actually there's so many more improvements I could make. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this. If you have any more book recommendations, then please do leave them below. I literally buy a new book like every other week. Um, I still have so many, yeah, I've got so many more, like I read so many at the same time. <laughs> so if you have any recommendations, let me know. If you've read any of these, let me know your thoughts on them. I'd love to know what you thought when you're reading them as well. But until next time, keep spreading the positive vibes and love and I will see you soon. Mwah!